looking at the two sessions today, what were you able to get out of the morning and then the evening session? Yeah, it was a real positive day. In the morning we played games, a lot of possession games, and then uh, games to goals, uh, get the guys in their positions and, and operating like that. And then in the evening we did a lot of pattern work and you know try to create that chemistry in the attack. A lot of good stuff, um, still a lot of things that we need to work on. Um, but we started to introduce it, uh, and then the guys start picking up on it. And as they get sharper and, and really get in tune with each other, uh, it'll get better and better. In the morning, you do a lot of, of kind of smaller field stuff and go bigger field for the, for the afternoon. Give the fans a perspective on why the, that's the approach to training. Well, we still want to get something out of both sessions, but we can't tax the guys too much. We have to be extremely mindful of, of breaking them down. So we try to accomplish you know, a lot of playing in the morning, and then in the evening, a lot of pattern work, and then try to implement that again in the morning uh, in, the, in, the, in the games to goals. Speaking of the patterns, how do those change with a change in formation, or do they change? They change drastically, and you're trying to introduce different movements, and when one thing happens, that triggers something else to happen, and when that happens, something else happens. Uh, and it's going to take time, um, but you but you want to introduce it. They start to feel it, and then you start to see it happen in the games a few times, and that's, and that's really rewarding. When you have guys like Kyle and Javi and Sabo, guys that have been around for a little bit, how much does that help implement something like that? Yeah, it's huge. You know, they can create the tempo, the practice, the quality, the sharpness, you know, all those things that those guys demand each and every time that they're on the ball. Uh, everyone else, you know, tends to follow suit. And uh, when, they're, when they're good and sharp, uh, usually everyone else is as well. Sabo's coming off of that injury to end last season. How's he looked so far in camp? Good, you know, I think this formation he's going he's gonna to benefit a lot from. We got guys that can serve the ball. We got midfielders that can run off of them when we, when we lay it off. And, um, you know, so we want to try to put him, in, him and, and all the players uh, in, in the best spots uh, to be productive. And Jaime, I mean, obviously he did, didn't have a camp last year. How much can this benefit him, and how much have you seen that benefit so far? I think he knows what it's what it's going to take to be successful in the MLS, and and it's it's a learning process, and he's getting better and better each day. His his teammates are getting more comfortable with him uh, each and every day in training session, um, and and now it's uh, you know we still got a lot of time, uh, and that's a good thing, uh, but we got two good games coming up here, and hopefully we can uh, keep bonding as a team. Purchase your 2015 season tickets today at RayAlSaltLake.com.